let's start from the beginning of course because uh, you started last year if I understand correctly and that's a pretty interesting time to start a band so first of all what's the story behind uh, Lesotho? Yeah um, you know it was like probably right at the start of the pandemic I think we all got together I mean I was with Cliff a lot kind of playing music in a side project and um, one of the members in that had to kind of drop out because of COVID related issues. Um, so it kind of, you know, kind of blindsided us in a way. And so we just kept playing Cliff and I kept meeting, we were able to keep meeting up. And I think we bumped into Zach, like maybe once or twice before we actually were like, Hey, do you want to come play drums for us? Because we're, you know, we're not doing, we don't have a drummer right now or we're trying to switch it up. And, um, yeah, I think that was like history. After that, we were able to just keep meeting and kind of found this like little uh, little community, like this little project that we could keep working on through the pandemic. And uh, it kept my mind busy and uh, kept us thinking together. Um, and then we got some, when the restrictions started to loosen, we were able to actually book time in a studio with at the Bridge Sound and Stage. Um, and actually record the songs that we had been working on you know throughout the pandemic and um that was another thing that you could we could kind of go all in on because we had the time we had the energy because of the pandemic and yeah i think it was all you know we we tried to make the best out of the situation that we had um but yeah i think it was luck luck that kind of guided us at the beginning running into zach being at the same building um all of us having like a sort of common goal in mind uh, to play music and write the best music that we can uh, together. Yeah, uh, just to add on that, it's funny because uh, I would go to the building that I worked at and that these guys would practice at and I'd hear off in the distance this, you know, posty, melodic kind of sound and music with no drums really. It would just be kind of guitar and maybe occasionally some some drums in the background, but a lot of times I'd be hearing just kind of like Kyle's guitar and I'd be like, oh, that sounds like some cool ass music. Um, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, and uh, I think it was just we we just happened to meet outside in the parking lot one day and Cliff invited me up to to just jam. And um, it just kind of started like that. It was like just not planned whatsoever. Just um, it just kind of happened. It was almost like a, a fate type of thing. So, yeah, it was quite interesting because uh, the the side project that Kyle and I were originally doing, um, I was actually the drummer, and so um, after the third member of that project had to leave, um, you know, and we had bumped into Zach, I was and who I had known, uh, I guess, just from bumping into him previously, he had mentioned that he had played drums and I'd listened to some of his band's other stuff. I was just like, yo, you want to come upstairs and jam sometime? And he's like, yeah, I'm super like into this stuff. I've heard you guys, stuff like that. And then, you know, one thing leads to another. And then, yeah, I think, geez. So we probably started jamming, I want to say like April or May of last year. And then we were six months later, we were in the studio recording this album that we're now putting out. So yeah, it moved fast. Yeah, it was uh, everything came together pretty quickly. And um, like Kyle said, like sort of having a common goal, um, especially in the midst of everything going on, things shutting down, not being able to, you know, be with groups of friends or go to shows or like, you know, just to be engaged with music in the ways that we're used to. Um, that was something that we could all kind of hold on to and like come back to every week and keep working and chipping away. Um, and, you know, we're very happy with like the product and we still continue to, to, keep cranking away still so yeah was it always going to be an acoustic project or is it even exclusively acoustic i think just from the get-go nobody really had that in mind you know um i think a lot of the stuff that we were writing uh when we first started just sort of grew from like the circumstance and the environment that we were in you know us being like just together and i think after you you know, every, every practice that we had, we'd record and we'd listen back to. And um, I think over time it was just like, no, nah, this is it. You know, this is, this is the goal. This is what we're doing. And um, I think a lot of the music kind of breathes on its own without vocals and kind of has a melody in its own. 
um, that you can follow throughout the songs. And um, yeah, I don't know. It, it might be different for you guys, but that's how I've, I've kind of, it kind of sank in throughout the throughout the project. Yeah, I mean, we've we've had discussions in the past of maybe adding vocals, but not not so much as a primary instrument, maybe as a, a background type instrument, but at least as far as what we're writing right now, um, having it being instrumental just seems the most natural. Um, and on top of that, I mean, we're all so focused on the instruments that we're playing at the moment that I don't even think, I, it hasn't even crossed my mind to put, you know, some vocals over this part or uh, whatever. And I think that goes the same with, with Cliff and Kyle too. We're just so involved in the instruments that we're playing at the moment. We, we don't even really think about it. Uh, and, and again, we don't want to, you know, we're not forcing anything and what we have going right now, it just doesn't seem very forced at all. So. Yeah. I think down the line, if we, yeah, if we find the right, the right people to collaborate with, um, that'd be a very cool thing to have on the, or maybe one of us wants to do it, but yeah, circumstantially, I think we're Zach said it the best. We're kind of all focused on what we're doing at the moment. Yeah. And I think we're like, I, I think all of us can agree that like, you know, we're so focused that we want the music to sort of speak for itself without, I guess, the, the vocals as a distraction, even though, you know, it wouldn't necessarily be distracting. I would say if we were to include it kind of like how they referenced, uh, we would want it to sort of be an enhancement or sort of a feature of it, but not something that everything else as far as arrangements are centered around. Uh, which can be the case, especially, um, you know, in this type of genre, when you're mixing different things and different styles, um, you know, having the vocal tie it all together. Um, I can understand why some bands do that. But for us, you know, I, I think it's really about the intimacy of, of the songs. Um, you know, we, we want people to get intimate with like the, the you know, emotional journey that you kind of go on listening through the music. Okay. And we've been of course, talking about the Summer Wars EP, and you already touched on this a bit, but uh, how was the process of writing these songs and recording? And how much did the circumstance of the world, you know, seep into all of that? Well, I mean, I guess I can only speak for myself, but I I'm pretty sure the other guys maybe feel a sense of this. I think we're all like kind of relatively introverted, despite what we do. Um, in the band. So I think um, having that common goal and really working towards something, especially for me personally, because um, I hadn't played bass in well over a decade. Um, the last time I did was uh, in high school, just in like some garage band playing three chords. So it was essentially a brand new instrument to me as an adult, sort of revisiting this. Um, so sort of having this sort of fresh approach, um, you know, as uh, seeing myself as sort of a novice, but like having some experience, um, you know, through playing other instruments and doing other projects, um, it, it was really uh, gratifying for me to be able to grow, to, to grow as an individual, but also with the entirety of the project. Um, recording was interesting and writing the songs was interesting because there was a lot of like sort of learning and sort of feeling each other out as well. Um, you know, I had to learn to listen a lot more, um, particularly, you know, being a bass player versus being a guitar player or a drummer, where things are either, you know, sort of melodically focused or rhythmically focused, whereas the bass, at least the way that I envision it, is sort of the foundation of a lot of what we do in terms of like tones and, and sort of shaping the movement of the songs. So that was something that was really um, challenging and, and gratifying for me. Um, you know, and, and like sort of having the pandemic around me and like, you know, not being able to go out, spend time with friends. And, you know, on top of that, I also, for most of last year, I was uh, expecting a child too. We had our first uh, child uh, back in uh, September. So it was basically like home, prepare for the baby. And then like, you know, once a week, meet with the guys and, you know, work on this, the other baby, I guess, the music baby. <laughs> so, um, you know, that, that was really um, a satisfying uh, process for me. And I'm con we're continuing it now, you know. <laughs> I think uh, I think for guitar, it was kind of like, I, yeah, probably a learning process for all of us to kind of sit back and listen to each other. Um, in the project that me and Cliff had before that, uh, it was much, it was much, it was much more like uh, shoegazy, uh, more directed at metal. With this project, I, I kind of wanted it to be um, kind of go across the spectrum of different sounds and genres and and dig into 
maybe a little bit of mes metal, a little bit of like black gaze, a little metal um, post rock. Like I wanted to kind of just kind of traverse overall all, the whole genre of the post genre um, to find them that they were like into that and like down to explore it. I think that was like part, mostly the fuel that kind of kept us going the entire time. Um, a lot of these ideas would start off as on acoustic or I would record at, at home just on electric guitar um, and bring them kind of piecemeal, you know, to them and say, hey, what do you think about this? What if this went into this? What if we shaped it like this? And all of that, like kind of throwing things up into the air and seeing what stuck, I think was was the most fun that I had throughout it. And then as we developed the parts more and more and we kept playing it, because I think I learned a lot um, off of Cliff and Zach to, you know, stick to your guns and be confident behind what you play. Because I think that's something that I've always had trouble with is being like, yeah, this is what I'm going to fucking say. And I'm going to say it well, you know, um, going into it. And with that sort of attitude behind these guys was much easier, you know, and uh, scheduling the time to go into the studio. I think that was like just the right amount of time for all these ideas to sort of come together in a, in a really nice way. You know, we got to explore the songs in a different way um, on acoustic on like a, a few different instruments like piano and stuff and add that sort of stuff and flush it out. So I think, yeah, moving to the studio at the time that we did was perfect for me and um, really got out some really cool ideas. We've been talking about the, uh the EP and uh, how the pandemic affects pretty much everything and uh, still will do. So what kind of experience uh, is it to put out music in this time? How are you finding it at the moment? And like, how much can you make plans for future at the moment? Weird because usually when you're starting out, you're playing shows first and you're not necessarily releasing an entire EP. Um, so it's kind of, backwards in that sense you know usually you, you you get three or four songs first you play four or five shows and then you kind of get that studio time but for us we had just a bunch of time to practice a bunch of time to set shit down and not only get out the ep but also do a uh, an entire live video in that process and i feel like it's it's been kind of backwards um so it's just been the pandemic's been super weird in that sense. And uh, no, literally no one's really heard our stuff yet because of that, whether it's, yeah, whether it's live or even, even recorded, like no one, we don't really have anything out. So it's, uh, it's, it, it's going to kind of be like this big boom almost once the, uh, the EP and that live set kind of comes out. And, you know, once we start getting those shows and, but yeah, it's been, it's been backwards with the pandemic. Um, and it, it's been interesting too, because of that. I think all the time to practice has been super beneficial. Like before we even started recording, we had practiced the songs for hours at a time and fleshed them out and been like, this, this could work better. Let's brainstorm more on this part, you know? Um, yeah. And just being able to, <laughs> I think it's like what, uh, what a lot of bands like always imagine they could do when starting a band they're like all right let's get some studio time let's get all this stuff set up it's like well we actually like did that you know and it's a good feeling to like have all that stuff sort of all that work out in front of you like that it's it's humbling in a lot of ways yeah and it, and it's interesting too because like zach was saying it like for me it was so backwards um, you know, usually you get together, you put, you know, you put a few songs together and you tell friends about it. And then like, you, even if you invite friends over to the space or something like that, or like, you know, you can get like a small show at like some small dive bar or club or something like that. You know, we never really got that opportunity. So we just sort of reinvested all of that into, into like just creating this like really massive piece of music. Um, you know, so we're, we're happy with it for sure. 